Hey guys, so today is a nail video. I know, greeting with my face on a nail video was weird, but I wanted to talk about the kit that I'm using for a second. Otherwise, if I do it, like, pointed at my nails, it's just kind of weird. Anyway, it is quite cold and also quite loud today. I apologize. Today, I am going to be using dip powders to do on my nails. And I'm using the Dipwell Easy Acrylic Dip System for this. I actually ordered this kit months ago, I think back in August, and I kind of got sidetracked with what I was doing and I didn't pick it up for a little while. And every time I was thinking about using it or skimming it over, I couldn't find all of the pieces. I thought that maybe I had just lost some, but then when I finally got all of my stuff together, I realized that the reason that I couldn't find everything was because in the kit that they sent me, they accidentally sent me two duplicates and no number three, and the number three was very critical to this whole system because that was the activator. So was, there was no way that I could use the system without every single one of these steps, essentially. So I will drop the link to this set below on Amazon where I bought it, but just be cautious that that did happen to me. And I'm sure that if I had caught it right away, I could have done something about it. But I mean, it's December now, and this was back in August, and that's way too long to contact a company about this sort of thing. So I did order the number three, and since I was already ordering from their website, I did order a color powder because in the original set, you basically get like a white, a pink, and a base. So I'm gonna stop blabbing and I'm gonna get on to the actual nails. So here are my nails, my cuticle's red, yeah, 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 they're always red, let's get on with it, move on with our lives. I'm going to prep my nails and put some tips on. I wanted to show you guys the tips that I'm using because some of you are commenting about the fact that my nails are straight and asking me if I'm sculpting them and right now I'm not sculpting them but I was for a little bit. But the tips I'm using are straight because I don't like when my nails are super curved. I mine don't break nearly as much when I use straight. So I'm going to pop all of those on, prep my nails, and do all the prep work, and then I will show you guys after. All right, so I have all of my tips on, all good there. So first, you're supposed to take the bonder right here and put it all over your nail. So I'm going to do that now. For this process, you want to make sure to not get anything on your cuticles. Otherwise, it's going to lift really, really quick. This is just the bonder right now, though. It's essentially just like a prep. So, so what I'm going to do is with this hand, I'm going to do like the regular pink color. And then on the other hand, I will do like the sparkly color. So I have my base right here. And then with the base, you're supposed to do it halfway, dip, and then put base on again and dip the whole thing to kind of create an arch. You know what, let's start off on a bigger nail to kind of... And this doesn't require any light or anything like that. Okay, so now we're going to dip it. And then you're supposed to sort of brush off excess. Then you're supposed to do an entire coat of this base again. You're supposed to quickly dip it. So I've got to make sure that I'm doing it quickly. So it actually looks up like it's building up a tiny bit on this edge right here, but that's probably my technique not being <laughs> super good yet with the painting it on. So you can do pretty much however many layers of coverage you want. I guess this is the point where I would start doing the color. They included a solid white if you want to do French, but I don't really want to do French, to be honest. My nails do need to be a tad bit thicker just because they are longer. So I'm going to take another layer of this base and I'm going to dip it in the pink this time. So there's that and then you lightly brush it. I'm actually thinking this is going to be nice considering how much 
acrylic normally sucks to deal with. I'm gonna wait for this to dry and we're gonna start on doing some of the other fingers. I think they're looking pretty good so far. So I'm pretty much going to get the rest of my nails at this step and then we will do the other ones. There is like a activator step and a sealer step. So we will do that as well as do this colored one that I found. And this one's like a lot more of like a glitter, I think. If I remember correctly, it looked hollow to me, but it kind of just looks like red, white, and blue. We're getting patriotic a little early this year, I guess. Early for next year, it's all right. So we'll see how this color looks once I go back and do the rest of my nails. So I will see you in a minute. Okay, I'm actually gonna do this hand second because this stuff is actually a bit malleable and I don't want to mess it up. So to finish it, you're supposed to put a last layer of base on and dip it in the base and finishing one. And then you're supposed to take the activator right here and put it on top and that's what's going to harden all of the nails. While I was working with the base, it was actually stinging my eyes and like burning my nose kind of. It smells like, like a really, really strong super glue almost, almost like a what is that stuff called like E6000 or something like that? Okay, now this is supposed to harden them. The activator smells like sort of just kind of like really strong nail polish, but the base, this was, I mean, it was, I had to like keep moving my head up to not burn my eye. But also, I mean, I do have everything in my room closed up right now so that you guys don't hear what's going on outside. So it might not be like such a bother if you did it in like a ventilated area. After you do that, this is when you're supposed to file your nails down. Are pretty solid. This is when you're supposed to file them into the shape you want and smooth them down to your preferred thickness because these ones are a little bit thick. So I'm going to file them down now. Okay, so here they are after I filed and shaped them. I ended up having to file them down a lot because they were a lot thicker than I really had thought. So you're supposed to put another layer of activator on, which I'm hoping will make them a bit stiffer. They're starting after filing them, they feel a little bit flimsy. So here goes the activator again. And luckily I'm pretty sure I was really careful to not get any of this on my cuticle. So I really should not have any lifting going on. Okay, so this brush softener is really for the sealer. So basically when that happens, you're just supposed to switch the brushes. So now that this brush will just sit in here and will soften, and then I would just use it like this. So I know my cuticles are dry right now, all right? But I think the nails actually look okay. I definitely could have shape them better, but I kind of felt like when I was filing them down, they started to get really flimsy and I actually went back and put more on this part right here because I could definitely tell it was just going to snap. So I think that sort of building up the curve, especially since I do straight nails, is going to just be something to get used to. But I really like this method, so what I'm gonna do now is go prep basically this hand and then we can do this fun like colored one and then yeah, get on with it. So now we're gonna do this fun one. Really not good with painting with my left hand. You would think that by now I'd be okay at it, but no. So now the fun part. And I did scoop all this around by the way. You're supposed to do that, that way things don't clump up and like all of the glitter doesn't surface on the top. And there we have that one, kinda. It looked like it was hollow glitter on the website, but I mean, I guess I was wrong. I don't know if like this stuff is just kinda will like really 
look a lot better once you put like the sealer and that kind of like shiny stuff on top. And I feel like no matter how much I scoop this around, it feels like the glitter is almost like piling up on the top. I wonder what this base stuff is, if it's just like actual, just like liquid glue, because it really smells like it. So I'm just gonna kind of wipe off all of this and I'm gonna do a second layer just to make sure that it's all really on there. Okay, so this is actually looking kind of like I said, like red, white, and blue uh, glitter. Now that you can actually see, I think it has like some other colors in there, but not a ton. And then you're supposed to do the base again and dip it in the finishing powder. Okay, so here's that. Now we need to put one more thing of activator on. So although this was a tad bit difficult for me, partially I think because it's just like the first time doing it and all, I think that this would actually be something super, super easy for most people to do. I mean, these nails are pretty short for me, but I know some people only do it probably like a fourth of this length. So I think that this could be a really fast and easy way for a lot of people. So I got the activator on that. Now we're gonna do the sealer again. This sealer is so weird. I take it back about being like a polish. It is, it's It's like, um. it's almost again, like it's, it kind of just seems like really, really like shiny glue or something like that. And this one then, and this time I'm being super careful to wipe it off before and after I put it in the bottle because, because it, the brush seriously gets like gooped up super easily. I accidentally just touched like right here on this finger and it stuck like almost like super glue. I really did, I tried to wipe it off each time that I was touching it, but it's like all stuck together. I don't recall getting extras of like these brushes in the kit that I had gotten. I could be wrong since it was so long ago. So I put some oil on my fingers and here is the finished result. I actually really, really like these. I think the shape came out so good and they all look a lot better. <laughs> they look even better than when I do gel, to be honest, I think just because it's so much easier to shape them. Again, I already know there's gonna be a million comments around my, about my cuticles. They're always red, always have been, always will be. I don't know why they show up. They look five times redder on camera than they do in person. In person, they look normal. On camera, of course, it's trying to play me. Here are both of them together. This side I'm not as happy with. I kind of want to reshape these and put some like different powder on them. I think these ones look really good but I kind of just feel like this side doesn't look as good. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is reshape these right now and then maybe let's try to put some sort of like powder on top and make them look a little better because right now, because right now they look a little bit messed. So let me go reshape them and do all the things I need to do to this and then let's make these ones look a little bit better. Okay, so I, Filed those down. Honestly, I'm really done with the sealer. I feel like I pull it out once and like the brush hardens up. So I'm gonna try to use my trusty gel instead and just cure it on top and see if that works as well. Because you don't need a light or anything with that set, I wonder if they do that that way. There's like a really hard and like shiny sort of top layer there. Doesn't that look so much better? Do you see that? I think I'm gonna do just a quick top layer on this one because these ones are like shiny, but not as shiny as I feel like they should be with sparkle. They look a little bit dull. That looks so much better now, don't you guys think? They look way shinier. So I think right here is where I'm going to give just my opinion. Okay, this is totally not the normal background but you guys get the idea. I think that if you want to do your nails at home and you are not used to it, this is probably the easiest thing for you to do. 
Although I do love gel, I probably just for time's sake will start using this method. It always does take way longer when I'm filming, but when I'm not filming, I think I can just get this done and just kind of go. Am I out of focus? I totally am, aren't I? I do know that there is a, another brand called like Kiera Sky or something like that. And I think I will be ordering some of the powders. If smells bother you, then this might bother you. It's not as bad as just doing acrylic full on regular type of acrylic. I know that the monomer, depending on what you use, is really strong. These ones are more of a glue smell, like a really, really, really strong glue smell. The base as well as the sealer had that, the activator, not so much. But overall, I really, really like this set. I think I am going to buy the Kikera, I think Sky one as well, since I think that I'm going to start doing them more of this way. I will link this set down below because it is cheaper. I did not get the Kikera Sky one right off the bat because it was a lot more expensive. If I think it was like double the price of this, I think this was 50 or $60 and I think that the Kier Sky one was like 100, 100 and something. I will definitely be buying the Kier Sky powders because I know that those are gorgeous. I've seen them all over Instagram. But yeah, overall, I really like this set. I would definitely recommend it. Now, if you want to continue watching even more of this because I'm already, I already feel like this is going to be a long video. I'm going to now decorate these more because as great as this one is, this one's a little plain for my taste and these ones are just like a regular pink. Also, look at, see my cuticles aren't nearly as bad up here. Anyway, these ones are too plain. I wanna put hollow something on them. Also, they're very short. And then these ones, I think I'm gonna add some more type of glitter to them. So if you want to keep watching, that's what I'm going to do. But if you were just here for like the dip tutorial, I wanted to get that out of the way and then just do my other nonsense now. So yeah. So I'm actually not sure if I have enough hollow powder to cover these, but I am going to try. So what I like to do for this is I put the no wipe gel top coat on. Now I'm basically cleaning off the surface with alcohol. It's a no wipe top coat, but I feel like this makes it stick a lot better. I really like to use these now. I find them a lot easier than the other things. I kind of just put it on the bottom here and just kind of go like that. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. So grab some of that. Here we go. Oh, pretty. Get this all zoomed in here. Look at that. That actually looks so good over this light pink. I was kind of worried of how the color was gonna look on top of essentially like clear, but I think it looks really good. So let's do this one now. So, wow, okay, this looks so good. I do need to be careful though, because I don't know if you guys can see, but I keep scratching it. Oh, you can really see where I messed up on that one. Might have to go over these ones a tiny bit, because I keep knocking them on accident. Now I'm gonna put a top coat on. Here are these ones. They look like unicorn nails, don't they? I love them. So for these ones, we're gonna do the galaxy hollow on top because I just feel like they need something. So I'm not 100% sure how I wanna put it on there. Let's just try like. I think we're gonna just kind of just like dab it on a little bit and then like rub it. There, doesn't that look so much better? like there compared to this. Aren't these so pretty now? I would say like a 200% improvement. So here we are. I thought I would try to do some sort of like a cool nail reveal. See the colored background. So here are the nails all completely done. This side like a nice like clean hollow, this one like a chunky hollow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that it was kind of a mess. Trying out new stuff always kind of makes me a little scattered, but I hope it was informative a tiny bit or entertaining nonetheless. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you like my nail tutorials and I hopefully will see you in my next video. Bye!